Okay, so take two. <laughs> I need to stop fake laughing like that. So I had already filmed this video, but I wasn't in focus the whole time. So let's do this. I'm going to be showing you guys my shoe collection and it's going to be from the lowest price range to the highest price range. So let's do this. My first pair of shoes are these gray leather loafers. They're from Mexico. Um, so for these, I like wearing these with trousers, um, probably like raw ham jeans. They look really nice. You can see the socks so you do have to be conscious about what sock you're wearing. Yeah, um, the only bad thing about these is they are really flat, so they kind of do start hurting your feet after a while of walking in them. And these were 300 pesos, so around $20? Around that price. They're pretty cheap. My parents bought this for me. Second pair are my <clears throat> uh, gold Tevas. So I bought these... A, two, three years ago on Urban. They were on sale. I got these for $30. Um, I really like these. I don't wear them as much as I can't. I could because, I don't know, I live in SF so it does get pretty cold and they're really exposing. So I wear these mostly when I go to the beach or like do a little hike or something like that. They're very simple shoes. So yeah, these were great and I, I like them. They're cute color. Okay. Uh, the next three pairs are all Vans, um, so the prices are very similar. The first pair is my checkered slip-ons. These are, I believe, $50. Um, so these are $50. These used to be my go-to shoes my first year of college. I ran through two pairs, I believe. Um, I don't wear these as much. I do wear them when I'm like on a hurry. Just slip these on, walk out the door. They're really comfortable. Um, for some reason, the checkered ones are a little wider than the other slip-ons, as I've noticed, because I do have, I used to have a pair of, like, black slip-ons, and those were a little less wide. They're more narrow, so these just fit ultra comfortably. Uh, next pair are the, almost the same pair. It's the checkered lace-up ones. Um, so I used to have these when I was in middle school, then they just continued them, so I went on a search for them everywhere, and then they recently released them again, I think like around, what would it be, like June, July, and so I had to get them. These were 55, I think. Um, I don't wear them as much. They don't go with that many things anymore for my style, but they, you still can wear them because they're black and white with a lot of stuff, so. And they're, it's a different type of shade, like these are hue. Cute, because it's white, right? Yeah. These are like a beige, and this is just white. Okay. The next pair are the old school vans. These like blew up this year with like everyone. I feel like everyone had these. Um, I started wearing these, I think, two years ago, and I went through so many. I went through probably two, three pairs. I love them so much. Um, I haven't worn this pair as much. I only wore them to uh, Coachella. And then they got really dirty, and then I was just like, whatever about them. But I do wear them. They're really comfortable. They're the most comfortable vans I think I've tried. Um, and these are $65. The next pair are the green Stan Smiths. Very, very popular shoe. Um, I used to hate these shoes, actually. So around two years ago, my roommate had them. They were trying to convince me to buy them, but I was just, I, something about them just felt off. For me, so I never bought them until recently. Like I just saw someone wearing them, and they had they look really worn in, and I, I just I like that look a lot. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a pair of white shoes like these, and wear them in so they could look nice. Like, and you could just these go with anything. So I wear these a lot. These are probably one of my most worn shoes these past like three months. Um, yeah, and I love these. The next pair are the. Red Stan Smiths. Um, so for these, I saw someone actually on the subway who had them, and I really wanted them after that. 
they look really clean and so I looked for them everywhere in the Bay Area and they had them nowhere they were sold out everywhere they were in the in the Adidas stores they were in the Paxson stores they just, I just couldn't find them at any shoe store up here so then I kind of gave up on them but then I went to go visit a group of friends and we went to their mall because I wasn't planning on staying and then I did stay so we went to the mall so I could buy clothes and then they had them at that Paxson so I had to buy these and these were a little more expensive than the green ones the green ones I did get them on sale they were $75 and I got these for, I think, 85 But I really wanted them, so I didn't, I didn't care about the price difference. Yeah, and I love these. These next shoes, I actually uh, wanted them because we went to Coachella and saw Kendrick. And he was wearing a pair of the uh, Cortezes. And he was wearing the black and white ones. And they just looked really nice on him. So then after that, I wanted a pair. Um, I didn't know what scheme to choose at first, like what color scheme. And then I saw the OG ones come out, and I really wanted them. So I looked everywhere. They were sold out here in the Bay Area. They sold out pretty quick. And then I looked online and I found them. And so then I think they were a little more expensive than like retail price, but I just purchased them. It's the red, white, and blue scheme. It's the OG ones. I love these. The only thing I do have to say about these shoes is they are very narrow than my other shoes and I do have a white foot so they do kind of squish my feet a little. Um, I've worn them about five times and they're still not like broken in so I don't know if they will but they are a really good shoe and I love them. They were I do believe $85. This next pair is probably my most worn shoe of 2017. It's the Adidas Gazelle. This shoe is just Super great. It's super comfortable. It has a low profile, which I love. It's just a simple black and white shoe. It's not too bulky like other Adidas shoes. Um, yeah, they match with a lot of stuff. I'm surprised I haven't bought other colorways in them. But I, I, do, I just love the simple black and white one. Um, I have worn these a lot, as you can tell. I, it's a great shoe. Um, and these were $90. The next shoes are a, like, city type of shoe. They're... Yeah, they basically are made for people who live in cities and walk long distances. It's the All Birds Wool Runners. And I got these in the black scheme. Um, so these are made out of wool and they're uh, machine washable, so it's really convenient. These are really comfortable. Um, they keep your feet warm in the cold and they keep them fresh in the summer. So it's a really good shoe. I love them. I can walk in these forever. Uh, yeah, and these were, I do believe, a hundred with tax. Yeah. Um, this next pair, I don't wear as much. I used to wear a lot more in high school. Um, so I've had these for a while. Uh, and it's the Clark's Desert Boots. I have them in the burgundy. I think they, this color only is available during the winter season, I believe, here in the U.S. So I've had these for a while. Um, they were really great for me in high school. I wear them a lot, but now they don't go with my style that much. That's why I just have them in the back of my closet. So they're just sitting there, but I, I don't want to get rid of them. I do get rid of a lot of the shoes that I don't wear, but I don't get rid of this pair because they're just like one of those essentials that you need. So I just keep them in the back. I, I can use them with like rolled up jeans and like a button up. And so that's why I keep them around. But these were, I think, 130. So yeah, these were... 130 they're really cute these next shoes were a little hard to get but after some time I got them it's the Converse Comme des Garçons collection um so this is the old version which is the one I wanted which is why it was harder to get so for these they're a little different than the new ones a lot of people have the new ones but I just they weren't kind of my taste the the new ones have like a bulkier shinier um, rubber on them and I really didn't like that and then the heart for the logo is a lot bigger and it's just like the eye so it's like half of it's cut off I didn't like that either but the main reason I got these is the black stripe in the back I love that black stripe so that's kind of the reason I got them but yeah so these were have been out probably for quite a while I don't even remember um, my roommate's friend had them she told me to get them and then my coworker had them and I just I love how they looked on 
on them, so I just had to get them. So when I went to a Barney's to get them, they were sold out in these and they only had the new ones and I didn't want them. So then I just went online and surprisingly they had my size and everything, so I just ordered them. And yeah, I do believe these were 130. Yeah. Next pair are the Chelsea uh, Brown Doc Martin boots. I had the black ones. I still have the black ones, they're actually in my car, but they're completely destroyed, that's why I, I don't wear them anymore. Um, I bought those in high school, they lasted me five years. So I just love the Chelsea boot, it's such an easy, I didn't have to break these in, so these are kind of a softer, like, build to them, so they don't really hurt you, like the other Doc Martin boots. So these are just so easy to slip on, I love them. The, I love their bouncy sole. I bought these for Coachella so that the dirt wouldn't go into my shoe because I just, I hate when dirt gets inside your shoe. Like I hate the dirty inside of a shoe. So I bought these for that. I haven't worn them that much, but I do love them. I just haven't gone like opportunities to wear them that much. But yeah, these are just a great shoe. Uh, and I do believe these were 130 as well. And for the last pair, it's my, Birkenstocks. So I do have the brown Birkenstocks. I've had these for four years, I believe now. Um, I used to wear them a lot when I barely got them. Now I don't even wear them that much. Uh, I, I don't know. I use them more as slippers now. But yeah, these have gone through a lot, and I, they're still holding up. They're they're in pretty good shape. The only bad thing is my old roommate's dog chewed one of the straps off. And so I had given up on them and I threw them away and everything. And then my roommate saw them in the trash and was like, I'll fix them for you. So then she did go to a, a shoe repair shop and they uh, sewed the strap back on. And so yeah, they're still here. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's my shoe collection. Um, please click the subscribe button. I'll be posting new videos, hopefully, within the next year. <laughs> uh, yeah. See you next time.